friends welcome back to my channel it's Megan and today we're discussing my 24 books of 2024 what a clever name I wonder who came up with it I don't know I've seen it going around I wanted to do it so let's go up so let's go ahead and jump into it so first off we'll kick it off with the series I want to read in 2024 so just to preface these are all books from my physical TBR so they're not ones that I am gonna go buy or loan from the library or anything like that they're also all books that I have not read yet nor have I read their like first book so they're not sequels but I do have some series here, so we'll kick it off with the series. First up, we have the Shatter Me series. This is by Tara Moffey, and I really don't know anything about it. I think that there is a prison, and there's a girl with, like, the touch of death or something of that nature. But I could be 100% wrong. Um, and then something about a brother. But I, that's all I've got. Um, it's like a sci-fi dystopian fantasy and my friend Claire has been begging me to read it so it is on the docket for 2024. The next series I want to read is the Library of the Unwritten trilogy and this is by AJ Hackwith. I saw this book, the first book at least, a while ago on uh what is her name? Aphrodite Reads or Persephone Reads, some like a Greek goddess reads or something like that the way she described it sounded so good at the time and i wish i could remember what her description was but i immediately picked it up also i just really love books about books so i have the trilogy here i have the library of the unwritten the god of lost words and the archive of the forgotten so if ooh. This might be the series in which there's someone tasked with like scouting out or completing or something all of the like forgotten works or dead works so like say an author started writing something and then passed so the work never got finished or something was written and then like thrown away or so, like that kind of thing. I think it's his job to collect those. I don't know. We'll figure it out, I'll let you guys know, but I've had this set on my TBR, physical TBR shelves for a while, so I think 2024 is the year we're gonna get to it. Next up, we have the Gideon the Ninth Trilogy. I actually think that there's another one coming out, but I've never read the original trilogy here, and one of my favorite books by one of my favorite authors, or if not my favorite author, uh, Nikki Paparato wrote Bonesmith, and it's pitched as Gideon the Ninth meets Game of Thrones. I read the first book of Game of Thrones, still plan to continue that series. It's going to take a hot second though, um, but I've never read Gideon the Ninth, so being that Bonesmith was one of my favorite books of 2023, I thought that picking up the one of the books that is like related or it's not inspired necessarily but um has the same vibes would be fun next up is the once upon a broken heart trilogy this is the prequel trilogy to caraval i love the caraval trilogy by stephanie garber and i particularly really loved jacks in that trilogy and this is supposed to be jack's backstory so I'm very interested to pick it up and try it out. So that is on the docket for 2024 as well. Then we have Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross as well as Ruthless Vows, I believe is the sequel. I have it on the way. I ordered it from Fairy Loot, so it is technically part of my physical TBR. I just don't physically have it yet. It's um, still waiting to be shipped. But we have Divine Rivals, which is supposed to be somewhat, like, mythology related, but also somewhat contemporary. So I'm interested to see what this is about. One of my friends, um, Marie, we are doing a book exchange, and she said that this was her favorite book of last year. So I definitely want to pick it up, and it's been on my TBR for at least since I got it in my fairy loot. And then moving on to the standalones here. First we have In Deeper Waters by F.T. Lukens. I think I have brought up this book 
on so many TBRs is actually embarrassing at this point. But 2024 is the year. We are reaching our goals this year. And this is pitched as Pirates of the Caribbean meets something. I don't even remember anymore what it is. Um, but every time I talked about it, I was absolutely enamored with its pitch and I just wanted to pick it up so badly but again I was in that weird phase of like I have to read these other books before I can read the books I really want to read and so I am exiting that phase now we are reading the books we want to read in 2024 and we're not assigning ourselves homework to get to the things we enjoy because this is supposed to be the thing we enjoy our homework is going to work we're gonna read what we want to read and that's that. <laughs> Next up I have three books by Mara Rutherford. All three are standalones um, but Mara Rutherford wrote Crown of Coral and Pearl which I really really enjoyed and my friends love Mara Rutherford and I've had these books on my TBR for a while but I haven't picked them up yet and I know I like her like writing style so I just need to get to them. First we have A Multitude of Dreams and this one is the bloody plague is finally passed but what fresh horror lies in its wake don't know guess we're gonna find out then we have the poison season which is outsiders are always given a choice the forest or the lake either way they're never heard from again and then we have luminous which is her sister has been taken and the only boy she's ever loved has disappeared to get them back, she'll have to use the magic she's always feared. Alright, so those are our three Mara Rutherfords that I want to get to this year. And then we have the Charm Offensive, which is a game show novel. And I heard about this a while ago, and I've always wanted to read it. And I just, again, never picked it up because it was something I actually wanted to read. Uh, so, again we're reading the things we want to read and so we have the charm offensive and it's a game show romance and then we have the grace year which is a dystopian i don't remember exactly what happens but something happens when the girls reach a certain age which is their grace year no one speaks of the grace year it's forbidden is the quick little tidbit at the top of the synopsis so didn't give a lot of answers there but i've heard a lot of people like gush about this one so I definitely want to pick this one up and our final book number 24 is just a standalone graphic novel but that is Aquacorn Cove and this is by Kay O'Neill um they also wrote the Tea Dragon Society which is a graphic novel series I adore I love their work their like illustrations so definitely just stunning stuff and they it's like cozy fantasy vibes i believe this one is specifically geared towards like environmentalism and global warming and taking care of marine life but told in a cozy fantasy way so that is also uh on the docket for 2024 so those are, I quickly sped through them, but those are the 24 books I want to read in 2024 or the top of my 2024 TBR. I am planning to kind of spread them out throughout the year, so you'll see them come up in my game of TBR sporadically throughout the year because I'm assigning like different ones to different months and I'm hoping that will like make me reach my goals better if that makes sense. But those are the books I want to read. Let me know what is at the top of your TBR for 2024 and I'll see you in my next video. Bye friends!